Maasim, Acts 16. Then came he to Derbe and Lystra, and behold, a certain Talmudi was there, named Timotheus, the son of a certain woman, which was a Yahudi, and believed, but his father was a Yavani, which was well reported of by the brethren that were at Lystra and Iconium. Him would Paul have to go forth with him, and took and circumcised him, because of the Yahudim which were in those quarters, for they knew all that his father was a Yavani. And as they went through the cities, they delivered them the decrees to keep, that were ordained of the apostles and elders which were at Yerushalayim. And so were the called out assemblies established in the belief, and increased in number daily. Now when they had gone throughout Phrygia and the region of Galatia, and were forbidden of the Ruach HaKadesh to preach the word in Asia, after they were come to Mysia, they essayed to go into Bithynia, but the Ruach suffered them not. And they, passing by Mysia, came down to Troas. And a vision appeared to Paul in the night. There stood a man of Macedonia and praying him, rather, and prayed him, saying, Come over into Macedonia and help us. And after he had seen the vision, Immediately we endeavored to go into Macedonia, assuredly gathering that Yahua had called us for to preach the Bessara unto them. Therefore, loosing from Troas, we came with a straight course to Samothrakia, rather, Samothracia, and the next day to Neapolis, and from thence to Philippi, which is the chief city of that part of Macedonia, and a colony. And we were in that city abiding certain days. And on the Shabbat we went out of the city by a riverside, where prayer was wont to be made. And we sat down and spoke unto the women which resorted thither. And a certain woman named Ludi, a seller of purple, of the city of Thyatira, which worshipped Yah, heard us, whose heart Yahua opened, that she attended unto the things which were spoken of Paul. And when she was immersed and her household, she besought us, saying, If ye have judged me to be faithful to Yah, come into my house and abide there. And she constrained us, and it came to pass, as we went to prayer, a certain damsel possessed with a ruach of divination met us, which brought her masters much gain by soothsaying. The same followed Paul and us, and cried, saying, These men are the servants of El Elyan, which show unto us the way of Yeshua. And this did she many days. But Paul, being grieved, turned and said to the Ruach, I command you in the name of Yahusha HaMashiach to come out of her. And he came out the same hour. And when her masters saw that the hope of their gains was gone, they caught Paul and Sila, rather Sila, and drew them into the marketplace unto the rulers and brought them to the magistrates, saying, these men, being Yahudim, do exceedingly trouble our city and teach customs which are not lawful for us to receive, neither to observe, being Romaim. And the multitude rose up together against them, and the magistrates rent off their clothes and commanded to beat them. And when they had met, laid many stripes upon them, they cast them into prison charging the jailer to keep them safely, who, having received such a charge, thrust them into the inner prison and made their feet fast in the stocks.
And at midnight, Paul and Sila prayed and sang praises unto Yahuwah, and the prisoners heard them. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison were shaken, and immediately all the doors were opened, and everyone's bands were loosed. And the keeper of the prison, awaking out of his sleep, and seeing the prison doors open, he drew out his sword, and would have killed himself, supposing that the prisoners had been fled. But Paul cried with a loud voice, saying, Do yourself no harm, for we are all here. And then he called for a light, and sprang in, and came trembling, and fell down before Paul and Sila, and brought them out, and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe on the Adonai Yahusha HaMashiach, and you shall be saved, and your house. And they spoke unto him the word of Yahuwah, and to all that were in his house. And he took them the same hour of the night, and washed their stripes, and was immersed, he and all his, straightway. And when he had brought them into his house, he set meat before them, and rejoiced, believing in Yahuwah with all his house. And when it was day, the magistrates sent the surgeons, rather sergeants, saying, Let those men go. And the keeper of the prison told this, saying to Paul, The magistrates have sent to let you go. Now therefore depart, and go in peace. But Paul said unto them, they have beaten us openly, uncondemned, being Romaim, and have cast us into prison. And now do they thrust us out privily? Nay, indeed, but let them come themselves and fetch us out. And the sergeants told these words unto the magistrates, and they feared when they heard that they were Romaim. And they came and besought them, and brought them out, and desired them to depart out of the city. And they went out of the prison, and entered into the house of Ludi. And when they had seen the brethren, they comforted them, and departed. <laughs>